especially my advice to all those who care about preserving their Ram- this ramadan stay away from all the political activities that is happening because we throw a lot of heap heaps and heaps of mud on others during the political campaigns and it's all ghibat it's all ghibat you know pe- people say that you know that politician is so and so and is this and this if i reflect from a perspective of hadith i believe that politicians have a very high chance of you know inshallah they are people of iman at the end they have a very high chance of coming out completely clean reason being because on that day people would be questioned for what they have done so i'll share it with you a hadith and this hadith will clear you know make the point very clear rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that he asked sahaba ikram that who is mazloom who is muflis and who is mazloom so sahaba radhiyallahu anhu started saying that so and so person so and so person so said rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no so he said ya allah ya rasulullah explain to us who is mazloom mazloom and who is muflis he said he would be a person who is muflis not mazloom who is muflis so he said he would be a person who would come to on the day of judgment with mountains of good deeds he would have so many good deeds that it would be like as though there you know it's like a mountain stacked up so many good deeds and then when his deeds would be reviewed there would be number of people that he would have offended through backbiting through you know some other means by hurting them by being rude to them by cheating them by saying something about them which has hurt them one way or the other he would have hurt them so now all those people whose rights he has violated they would come and they would ask for justice and the way he would have to pay them off would be by giving his good deeds to them so he would start giving his good deeds to them till a point comes where there would be no more good deeds left to be given so now those people who are still left whose rights he has violated they would start putting off their bad deeds onto him and then eventually would come a point where he would now have a mountain heap of bad deeds and at that point in time it would be said that take him into jahannam so this would be a muflis person so a politician whose backbiting we are too eager to do on on whom we are too keen to accuse things without any proof without any knowledge he would come and ask for justification on that day he would when we would have to give some justification and if he have would have none we would have to give our good deed